So, what do you need to do for this course? Let's start with this daily schedule over here. I click on that. Tells me uh, what I should be doing uh, as if this course were meeting twice a week, like, like a normal stand-up class would do. Stand-up class would be meeting twice a week, probably for an hour and 45 minutes. And uh, things you would do, you would have a lecture, maybe the instructor would show some demonstrations, work out some problems, and you might have a quiz or something like that. Well, that's what this course is kind of designed to do. Now, lectures are going to be much shorter uh, for an online course because all you have to do, all you have with that is me talking straight to you in the camera. You don't have any interruptions. Uh, you don't have any questions. But um, those other aspects of the course are included with things such as uh, messages and discussion groups. So if we start those, we can have our questions collectively through a discussion uh, with the class. Uh, other ex aspects of the course is problem solving, and that is the main thing that you're going to be wanting to do. I'm not going to collect homework, but it is understood that you are working on the problems associated with each chapter and that you're going to complete all the problems associated with each chapter. And the problems are included in the notebook that comes with this course, along with the, um, you have the lecture notes, and then you have the problem sets. Um, in these notebooks. The PDF files of every problem set are also included in each chapter. So you can look at those. Let's, let's take a look at that. Here's chapter 19. Go down in the problem set here. At the lead of this is the PDF file, the problem set. So if I click on that, I get the problem set. Yay. That's what I should be working on. And uh, how do I go about this? Well, um, if you were doing it the way that I traditionally learned physics, the instructor would assign all these problems to you and say, go, go to it. And I would have to try to teach myself how to work out these problems. Well, um, this is the modern age. And uh, actually, for these problem sets, I actually have every problem worked out for you on an EduCreation video. And this video, even though I have the sound turned off on this particular computer, this video would have me talking about working out this problem every stroke. And so you can learn stroke by stroke how to work out a particular problem. Um, and every problem is worked out. So you, you can look at the solution to a problem, figure it out, and then eventually you want to close that solution and work it out yourself. And if you get stuck, you know, maybe peek at the solution. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. And then do it. Eventually you want to be able to work out all these problems on your own. Just read the problem and be able to work it out and, and do it. Now as you do more and more of these problems, um, they become easier. As, uh, that's the whole design behind these problem sets is that they are similar enough that, that you are able to hone your skills of problem solving as you go through this problem set. So, when you get to the quizzes and the exams, I'm going to take problems directly out of the problem sets and put them on the quizzes and the exams. The only thing I'm going to change probably are the numbers. So, if you've done the problem sets and you've practiced, as I've suggested, closing it and practice uh, working out the problems, you will be ready for the quizzes and the exams, and you should do well in this course as a result. So, no homework to hand in. This is your homework. Working on these problems, learning how to do these problems, and get yourself ready for the quizzes and the exams. The other thing you turn in are the uh, labs, and there's a separate video for what you should be doing for the labs and what your lab report involves there. But that, that's your input to me. Is, is working out the quiz every week, turning in labs, and then doing the exams before the deadline dates. And so this is truly a physics course. There's, you know, it's online, but it is truly a physics course on modern physics for, these, for this subject matter. So you will be ready for anything else that will come after this that is based on this foundation 
that you learn in this course. What else can I say? So other things you will check is the daily schedule. You look at that just to make sure that you're meeting all the deadlines and that you're, you're able to take the test before the scheduled date on the daily schedule. You can take it before then. That's okay. You don't want to wait until the last minute because you never know what's going to happen at the last minute. You have car trouble and you can't take the exam. Or if you walk in an hour before the testing center closes, they won't let you take the exam. So you, you really don't want to wait until the last minute to do this. Um, we have other things at your disposal are discussions. That's the unique thing about an online environment is you, you know, maybe you want to discuss a problem. And so you start that discussion, other people will chime in, I will chime in, and we'll discuss a problem. And maybe if you want to uh, discuss problem solving methods, we can discuss that. Uh, there are external links where we can dis discuss um, uh, current events or things that are happening in physics. We can do that. And so this is really cool. Uh, this online course, we have uh, messages, discussions, we have links, we have um, these videos, and uh, it should be a very good experience for you. Um, if you have any other questions, start a discussion group or, or ask me through a message. But uh, have fun.